Hi guys, this is Ember from Mom Stitcher. I want to welcome those who are coming back and also welcome those who are new. I know I had a couple of new subscribers over the past couple weeks and I'm excited about it. So I am way behind on posting. I'm fully aware of, of that, but um, there's been a lot going on here in Germany. So been busy um, just with everyday life things and then other stuff um, with things going on around Germany. Um, I have got a lot of stitching done and I've got a lot of new starts and I'm really excited about it. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, as far as life updates, we were all sick for a couple, for like a week or two. All of us, it kind of filtered. It w We kept testing negative, but whatever it was, kept going through like one person at a time. So for two weeks, we were all sick. Um, and now me and the baby are the last ones to get sick and we're finally on the better end of it. So other than that, things are starting to look better as far as restrictions here in Germany. Things are letting off a little bit, and that's very hopeful. Um, weather's finally getting pretty. And yeah, things just seem a little bit um, like spring, almost like spring. It's not quite there yet, but almost spring. So first I'm going to show my whips, my previous whips that I've worked on. Um, a little bit, but not a whole lot. I have done quite a bit on this one, the Native Native American piece. Um, let me get my stats. Um, Native America, Native American by Creative Accents. It was a kit done on 18 count Ivory Ada. I, I think what I did was, um, I worked on the cat, the, right here, like all of this, since my last video. Doesn't look like a lot, but it is. <laughs> it's a lot of stitches. So, really, really close on being done with that. I've messed up on it a lot, so that's what's taken me so long, trying to figure out how to get around that without um, without getting around that and um, not having to frog it so sorry somebody's texting me in the middle of this and it's distracting me so that one's really close to being done really happy about that I just kind of I started a bunch of new ones, so I kind of just hit a stopping point with that one. The other whip that I've been working on, I don't know how much I've actually done since my last video, but I know I've done a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and show it. This is my Zelda piece for my son. Um, I purchased this pattern from Glitch Stitch Designs on Etsy. This is my progress. And yes, I have two little pink marks on there. I'm fully aware of it. I don't know how I'm going to get it out yet, but I have a little bit before i got to figure that out. I think since my last video, I worked on part of the sword because I ran out of this color and had to order um, some more. So that's my progress on that one. Now... Um, let's see. New starts. I have a lot of new starts. I don't know why. I just do. I just see a piece and I want to start it. And if I don't start it, then I'm afraid I'll never start it. So I at least get a few stitches in. So, uh, first one I want to talk about is from a Ukrainian designer 
called Cute Patterns by Maria from Etsy. I purchased a couple of hers. And so I think I purchased this like a week ago and I've already got this many stitches in it. But I really like it. I would like to finish it before June for my sister's birthday because she likes Alice in Wonderland. But it's called White Rabbit by Cute Patterns by Maria. And this is how much I have done. I'm pretty... I've had this fabric for a very long time. This is on 16 Count Ada. Um, the fabric's called Woodland Moss by Fire Poppies. And I've had it for six, seven months. And I am really really wasn't sure what I wanted to um, stitch on it. And then I found this pattern while searching on, searching up different Ukrainian designers. And I was like, oh, that would be pretty on there. So that's what I'm using it on. I really like it so far. I think it'll be a pretty quick stitch and I think I'll be able to get it done by June so I can mail it to my sister for her birthday because she's obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. Um, her wedding was also Alice in Wonderland. She got married I think six years ago this month. So anyway, I think she would enjoy it. Um, my next new start is also a sow. It is my, I think this is my first sow ever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So this is the Chronicles of Narnia sow by Sapphire MT Handcrafts on Etsy. This is on 14 Count Ada. And this is my progress. Not a lot, but I like it. That was missing one color. I think it's the color that goes up here. So I did all the stitches that was released for, this is just a one, one part of the sow. Actually, it's half a one part. Sorry, I'm yawning. Um, and I was trying to finish it, all the colors except for the one until it came in, but it finally came in and I just haven't stitched anymore. <laughs> so I'm enjoy I'm enjoying that one. I'm not reading the book, but I should be. I really enjoy the book. Um I just am listening to some other books right now, so not really wanting to add to my list of books yet. The other one that I have started is also considered a sow, even though I'm way behind on it. I just, I've been wanting to do it for so long and I finally broke down and ordered the fabric for it and it came in and I just, I started it immediately. Um, I don't think I wrote down any of the information on it. Dang. I'll have to go back. Oh, there it is. So I started this on February 22nd. This is the Modern Folk Embroidery Fruits of Plenty sow. And this is just the January part. I have it on um, a, the stand is called a Gufa, Gofa stand. I ordered it here from Germany, um, from Amazon DE. It was only 25 euro. And I really didn't know anything about any stands, so I just found one that had pretty good rating and ordered it. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm so sorry, I keep laughing. Um, so, I really like it because I can do one-handed stitching and not have to hold it with my other hand. Because this hand definitely starts cramping up after a while. But, um... This is on, I'm not going to take it out of the stand because it takes me so long to get it back in. But this is on 28 count white Lugana. And I, the colors I chose, I'm doing one Sulky and one DMC because I wanted to try Sulky 
and the colors that I ordered did not go together. So I'm only using one of the colors from the ones that I ordered. And then I chose a dance that that I like to go with it. So the, let's see, I think, I'm not exactly sure how you, how you um, find the numbers, because there's different numbers on here. But I think it's 0640. Um, but this is the sulky color. And 3817 is the DMC color that I'm using to go with it. I really like it. I uh, don't think I'm the biggest fan of sulky yet. I'm not completely sold on it. But it's all right. And I don't have a project bag for this. I've resorted to Ziploc bags. But here is, I'll try to show you as much as I can without taking it out. Here is my progress on the January part of the Modern Folk Embroidery um, Fruits of Plenty. This is a um, a guard that I made myself. <laughs> it was, it's really crappy, but it, it serves its purpose. But anyway, I'm using two strands over two. And I really am enjoying it. I just enjoy the simplicity of it. And I can just stitch, stitch, stitch. And... Not a whole lot of thought goes into it. I don't know. I, this is just a piece that I like to do before bedtime. It's very relaxing to me. This is the stand that I got. I really enjoy it. And I just keep it over by my recliner. It stays over there with all of the stuff right here. I have my, I usually have my scissors right here. And then I have my thread that I'm working on in here. So it's all there. So if I just want to plop down and do a couple stitches, I can. I, I don't have a needle in it right now because I stole it for a different project, but I do need to purchase some more. So I'm really enjoying this. I'm almost done with this part. I just got to do, um, a I think I have like this much left on this side. So yeah, this has turned out to be my favorite piece so far. The next, um, new start, sorry, the next new start that I have is another stitch by Pixel Man Strikes Back. I was searching on there for a piece that would look good on this orange fabric that I got on sale, really cheap from Fire Poppies, and this one popped up and I was like, you know, I think that would look really good on the orange. And my son would have a fit for it. But this is the Ninja Turtles by Pixel Man Strikes Back on Etsy. It's on 28 Lu Count Lugana called Adobe from Fire Poppies. And I started this March 14th. But I think, I just, I love green. Oh, I just want to, I just love it. I love the simplicity again of just doing like the little block people. And these these go by so fast. So I think it looks good on the orange. And my son's so excited about it. He wants me to finish it right now. <laughs> so that's fun to do. Um, next one that I've started is another sow that I'm doing with Rogue Mama Stitcher. And the hashtag that we're using is Spoonful of Sugar Sal. I just started this today. The, I should mention, the pattern is by Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. And the fabric I'm using is a 32 count Platinum Magana that I ordered from 123 Stitch. Um, this is the little bitty teeny tiny start that I have on it. And I was a little nervous about doing 32 count Lugana. But I think because I've worked with uh, the 
two over two so many times that it's becoming easier. And honestly, I think the best way to describe it is I've literally trained my eyes to, 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 to do it. So it's a lot easier now. Whereas before I have really had to like focus my brain to do like the four blocks, but now it's so easy and I love stitching on Lugana, but I also love stitching on Ada. I don't think I'll ever be one or the other type person. I think, um, I just sometimes I want to stitch on Ada and sometimes I want to stitch on Lugana. So that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my little bitty start on Mary Poppins. And I have one other new start. This is a pattern that I won in a giveaway by, I think her name is Niecy Lynn on Floss Tube. But she's adorable. I love her accent. She's from Texas, I believe. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's so, I could so use that in my house. And my husband was like, you gotta stitch this right now. Like I wasn't gonna stitch it as soon as it came in, but it, when it did, he was so excited about it that I went ahead and ordered all of the stuff for it. So I got it in think a week ago and I kitted it up and then I just put in a few stitches today so that I could have a little bit to show you guys but it's called a Quaker game board by Papillion Creations I don't know if you'll be able to see this with the glare but super adorable I love it I love the colors the colors don't do it justice on here they have a couple of different uh, options. They have DMC, uh, Gentle Arts, and Hand Dyed Silks. And I chose Gentle Arts for these, for this chart. And I really, it's my first time using anything besides um, DMC and obviously Sulky now. <laughs> and I really am enjoying it. But here is my little teeny, 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 tiny start. I just wanted to see what, how easy the thread was going to be to use. And I really like it. It's part of the border. And I think this color is called Soot. And I really like it. Um, I know I said that a million times, but it is stitched on 16 count lamb's wool ada yeah and i'm it, it's it's pretty easy the fabric is stiff but you know i have it all rigged up here so that it doesn't get in the way but i'm having fun with it um so those are my whips and my new starts i have a few finishes or two finishes really that I'm so excited about. We went to Disney in Paris, like, I guess it's been like three weeks now. And it's like a four hour drive from where we're at. So I took my stitching and I started and finished uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. This is what made me wanna do the Fruits of Plenty because I was like, this one's a free one and I think I want to do it just to see how much I like their stuff. So I downloaded it. It's called, I think it's called the Mother's Day Pattern. It's on their website by Modern Folk Embroidery. I don't know what fabric I used on this. And I did not save the piece of variegated DMC, the paper, to remember the name or the number. But... It was all just scrap stuff that I grabbed on the trip. <sighs> and I finished it. I just haven't fully finished it. It's supposed to say I love you, Mom. But my husband really liked the blue. And he's like, can we keep it? Can you change it to say something else? So I changed it to say I love you. I got the idea from Huga Stitcher. She did the same thing. She's actually the reason I found this 
pattern because she had done the same thing and stitched I love you on it. So I'm probably going to turn it into a little pillow. Or I could probably frame it and put it next to my husband's bed. But here it is. It's adorable. I'm not super experienced with using variegated floss. But I think I did okay. Considering I was in the car. <laughs> I know I didn't leave a lot of room to play with, but I've finished pieces that had less room than this and it was fine. So it, it was just a little piece of scrap fabric that I had. And I really wanted to just play around with variegated floss and see how hard it was to use. So it was, it was, pretty, it was pretty easy. And then my favorite finish I've ever finished is... Let me find it. My Outlander piece by Quote and Stitch on Etsy. It's on 25 Count Lugana Ni Niagara Blue from Fire Poppies. I started it August 2nd and finished it March 13th. Oh, I love it so much. I love it. Ye are bone of my, no, ye are blood of my blood and bone of my bone, is a quote from the book. I really didn't think I would get done this fast, and I know that is still a long time, but I'm definitely framing this one. I've just got to go find a frame that, match, that fits it. So this is my big finish. I love it. Love, 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 love it. I need to wash it and iron it and and frame it. <clears throat> so, that's my two finishes for this month. Let's see. I do have some haul. They're all digital patterns, but I did want to mention them. There's one other one that I bought from Cute Patterns by Maria. And it is, I'll put it up here. It's called The Long Awaited Letter. I saw, I'm trying to remember who it was. I saw somebody on my Instagram that had finished it or was working on it. And I was like, oh, I really like this, but I'm afraid to ask where she got it from. It might be a kit. And then while I was searching on different Ukrainian designers, this popped up and I was like, oh, I'm getting it. And I also found the White Rabbit. So I bought both of those. The other one that I purchased was, where is it? Primitive Alice in Wonderland. I will insert a photo here. This is by Stitchy Princess on Etsy. This is also a Ukrainian designer from what I understand. Another, um, another piece of haul. I've actually had this for a while. I got it from one of Steph and Pam's coupon, like promotion from Twin, Pe Twin Peaks. Yeah, Twin Peaks. I can't remember the name. Uh, it's Twin Peaks. So Twin Peaks something. Anyway, it's called Spring Plaid. I think is what it's called. Plaid Spring. Plaid. Plaid Pandemic Spring. I think is what it's called. But it attracted me because of the green. So I'll post a picture here, and I'm gonna go get my baby, and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I have this snotty baby with me. He's snotty and got still a little bit of, of a cold, so you'll have to excuse him. Uh, the other couple of pieces I wanted to mention was another piece that I've had my own forever. It's also by Pixel Man Strikes Back. This is a show that me and my husband are obsessed with right now. And I know it's old, but we just now started watching it. It's The Big Bang Theory. I'll post a picture. I can't wait to get started on it. 
I'm trying to control myself. I don't think I have any fabric to get started on it with, but um, hopefully soon. I'll probably order some soon. Another piece that I bought a long time ago and forgot about it. I think she was having a sale on her patterns and I bought it with the rainbow piece. Uh, excuse you. The rainbow piece. Oh my gosh, what's it called? After the Rain by Liz Matthews. Hello by Liz Matthews. But I saw this. I don't know why I liked it because it's not really my style. But I did. So I bought it. I don't know if I'll ever start it. But I bought it on PDF. So it's called Token of Fall by Hello by Liz Matthews. And I don't know. It's cute. It's cute. And it just seems like a fast pace that I could whip up really quick. So sometimes I like to have like fast paces just so I can like start and finish and feel like I accomplished something. <laughs> but that is, let me see, let me look at my notes. I think that's everything. Plans are to finish the Chronicles of Narnia Sal. The first part because the second part has already came out i think the third part comes out next weekend and then to finish the january part of fruits of plenty i we're flying home to visit family for a, for a couple of weeks so i'll probably only take one piece to work on i'll probably only take one piece to work on and I'm, I know it's not going to be my modern folk embroidery. It might be the Chronicles of Narnia or the Zelda piece because they're easy to see. And... Excuse you! <laughs> they're easy to see and um, easy to travel with. So it'll be one of those two. Um, I might take another one, depending on how much room I have in my suitcase. So... That's pretty much it. I will say I finished my shawl. I forgot to bring it though. I completely finished it. It's sitting in my finishes. I'll probably never use it. But if anybody wants it, the beautiful rainbow shawl that is in my previous videos, if anybody wants it, I'll gladly mail it to you. I just love to crochet and a lot of times I crochet stuff I have nowhere to do. Put it, no one to give it to you, nothing to do with it. So if anybody wants though, really pretty actually just let me go get it and i'll show it okay i went and got it so here it is finished only thing i have left to do is sew like two or three ends in here it is in all its glory the colors are beautiful i love it if you want this put in the comments um, rainbow shawl and if there's more than one of you I'll draw a name I may wait till I'm in the States to mail it because it would be cheaper to do it that way but um, yeah I think it's gorgeous the patterns by wickedly wickedly handmade on Etsy and the yarn is red heart I can't remember the name of it I got it from Walmart though. <laughs> um, and then I finally sandwiched or finished my quilt top, the Christmas quilt top, and sandwiched it. I'm just uh, delaying the start of quilting it because that's the part I hate the most. <laughs> I really wish I knew somebody to quilt it because I would pay them to do it here. I have been on the search for stitching stitch like little needle workshops or anywhere that sells dmc or anywhere that sells patterns here but i can't find anywhere i have literally searched high and low i've searched facebook i've searched google maps i've asked other german floss tubers and there's really nothing nearby where i live so when we go to the states i'm scoping out a couple of little needlework or 
local needle. Well, I don't know what L LNS stands for. But anyway, needle workshops. There's one in Decatur, Alabama called the Cross Stitch Peddler that I would like to uh, go to. That Their hours are weird and the times that I'll be there will be random and small. Uh, the times that I'll be in Alabama. So, I don't know if I'll get to go. And that might be the closest one to me. I think there might be one in Huntsville, but I'm not 100% sure how big it is or how, how nice it is or whatever. But those are my goals, to definitely find somewhere where I can buy a couple patterns. There's some patterns that I have that I'm looking for. I ordered one by Cricut Collection. It's like a, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, it's, I think it's out of print and you can't find it anywhere. I finally found it on Etsy and ordered it and it said it was shipped and delivered. And I never got it. So I'm sure somebody else got it here and it's just going to be the biggest pain to have to track down who got it. I, I mean, I might eventually go up to the post office and, and mention it, but it's just, it happens a lot here with the APO addresses. Um, so, it just might just be lost, a lost cause. I didn't spend a fortune on it, so it's not a huge deal. I just was glad that I finally found it. You're being so loud. Come here. Sorry, I completely blocked out the sound that he was making with his little toy. Um, what was I saying? I was glad I finally found it because it's not something that you can find very easily on the internet. So I'm hoping I can find, go to a couple of stores and see if I can find it. And there's another, there's a couple of other designs that I would like to get that you can't purchase online. So... Maybe, maybe I can find some shops that I can go to. We will see. For now, that is that. And hopefully you enjoyed this random thrown together video. <laughs> but when you're a mom of five and you're in school and you really don't get a whole lot of time to do anything, you're usually stitching if you're a stitcher. Um, I knew I really wanted to watch to make a video before we went to the States, so, because I don't know when the next time will be that I'll get the chance to put another video up. So, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, um, uh, let's see, I was going to do a shout out, uh, I don't remember if I've shouted out this person before or not, but... Let me find her. She's not totally new to me, but fairly new. And her stuff is really cool. She does a lot of... She likes glow-in-the-dark stuff. So she does a lot of cool stuff. Her floss tube is called So Glover Creations. So S-E-W Glover Creations. So go check her out and tell her I sent you. And give her a subscribe and a like. And I hope you enjoy your stitching time. And I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye, Floss Tube. She's like, Mom, what are you talking about?